Hi friends, do you know that through Power BI, we can transform a beginner level column visual to a pro level column visuals in just five minutes. Here we have a basic column visual with a very limited information. Let's compare it with other column visual. This is a pro level column visual which is more presentable. We can easily read and understand this visual. For example, by viewing this visual, we can easily say that salesman C is performing really well as compared to other salesmen. So this is easy to read and analyze by anyone. So let's see how we can create this visual. Here we have a simple data set available showing sales made by a different salesman and the sales value and the cost price. We also have a basic level column chart visual available. Let's transform this column chart to our advanced level column chart. But before we proceed further, I would request you to please like and share my video and subscribe this channel in case you believe that you are getting, getting benefits from this video. This would motivate me to make more such insightful videos for my viewers. So let's start with creating three measures. In case you are beginner in Power BI and you don't know about measure and DEX function, then I would recommend you to refer my video on DEX function which I have uploaded on YouTube. It is quite inf informative and uh, I have explained in well about uh, various measures and DEX functions which you can use. So let's create a measure. I'll name it as column and this would be the minimum of sales and the cost value. I'll create another measure for profit. So I'll name it as profit. So here I'll be using if function. Again, I have explained in my uh, previous video on dex function about how to use if function. So if my sales is greater than the cost then we'll have profit then profit would be sales minus cost I will copy this and create my third measure which is loss and the profit measure code which I have copied I'll paste this and I'll change this to loss and I'll change the code because in case of loss my sales would be less than cost not higher than cost so i'll change it to less than cost and here the loss would be cost minus sales because in that scenario cost would be higher than sales so i'll change this to sales now we have all three measures created i'll straight away go and create a column chart. So I'll select the column chart. 
and in x-axis I will add salesmen in y-axis I will add columns loss and profit so my chart is ready I'll have to just format this so for that I will go to format I will remove legend I don't need that I would remove grid lines as well I'll go to columns and change the column color for my columns measure my color would be purple loss would always be in red and my profit should be in green so this is done now I would enable the total labels so that I can see the total values appearing on my columns and I would change the font to bold I would also change the color to yellow and I would go to journal title and I will change the title to sales dashboard I'll bold this center lined and now I would go I would also create a secondary uh, access view which is a line access for that I will go to build visual drop down I would add cost to the line access but I don't want to see this in line so I will go to format and I would remove the line or make the line stroke width to zero so that line would be invisible and instead I would enable the marker the cost would be reflecting to the marker and I will change the shape of this marker to a line you can choose any shape if you want and I can increase the size to 15 okay and I would also add the visual border for that I'll go to journal I'll go to effects and I would enable the visual border and since we have removed the legends so we'll have to add the customized legend for that I will go to insert I will insert the shape of rounded uh, rectangle and I will reduce the size I'll place it here and here I would add the text I'll go to style change the color to a profit color which is green and add the text and write it profit I'll bold this I will copy this rectangle and paste it to make it duplicate and I would change the color to red and here I would write loss I will again duplicate this rectangle and here I would not add any color or make it white and in text I would write cost and here the font color I would change to black so that this would be visible and again I will go to shape select line 
and I would change the color of this line to I'll go to style and I will go to border and change the color to a dark purple which which is the color of the marker and I would increase the size to three and I would place it here so now this is our uh, column visual or I would say the customized column visual I can add one more thing here I will add the customized tool tip I will go to journal I will select the tool tip which we have already created the customized tool tip in case you don't know about customized and dynamic tool tips I have already uploaded a video on customize and dynamic tooltip you can refer that video this would help you explain how to create a customized and dynamic tooltip in power bi so you can see once i hover on any of the salesman's bar we can see the performance report of each of the salesmen so this is quite effective uh, i would say functionality in power bi which we can enable and make our dashboard more meaningful and more impactful so uh, that's it thanks for watching friends and i hope you have learned how to create these uh, customized uh, column visuals which would be more impactful and i would say make more values when we are sharing this to our viewers thank you